I'm Jessica. I'm Jeanette. And we are So Sweet Quilt Shop in Brunswick, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to do our chat. Yes. So we each have eight projects that we're bringing to you from our sewing rooms. Um, some are new things, some are old things that we've dug out that we want to finish. Um, and this is just like to maybe inspire you or just just you share. feel better we're about just your own share chaos. what we're working on. <laughs> yeah. Um, that you have going on. But we are a quilt shop, like I said. So if anything we share with you, we have here in the shop <clears throat> the pattern book or kit, we will tell you that. And you can always call the shop or you can send us a message on Facebook with anything that you're interested in. And on Fridays on Facebook, we do live shopping at 9.30. And so some of the things that you see here, you'll see on that live shopping um, on Fridays. And you can always go back and watch the replays on Facebook. of those videos. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. All right. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. Okay, we'll get started. So when we do talk about if we have it in our shop, we're not necessarily going to know the price or anything. Just no. So we're not even going to mention that because we don't know. Yeah, because we're this isn't like to sell you anything. No. It's just to share. You might want to buy it, but we're not. We don't. You know can what call details. or send message. us a message. Yep. Okay, so number one, I'm going to show you my binding, and it has been. I meant to get those fab bottom. Oh, I forgot something this morning. Now <laughs> she's forgot something. Yeah. Um, we didn't do a YouTube video last week, so it's going to look like we got a lot done because it's two weeks progress. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's looking like I got a lot done, but <laughs> two weeks progress. And I showed two weeks ago that I just had the binding cut for this quilt, and it was just in strips. I don't remember why I think I had it on the binding bait, but now I have it sewn I'm going to go grab a couple of those blocks. Okay, and almost hand sewn. I'm down to one side. And this quilt is 78 by 82, I believe. I'll try to get it to show you without making a whole bunch of noise. This is Sunny Kisses, and this was a block of the month we did. Uh, we just finished it up maybe three months ago. But it is quilted. Look at the binding, it's so pretty on there. And that's my back. That's a wide backing that we have here at the shop. Those are my cute little labels, and I just ordered these off an Etsy shop. Just says made, no, just says Jeanette Frock Creations. But you can't hardly see this quilt because it is so big. I'll get you to try to hold part of it. It's just I have one side of the binding left to hand sew. I wanted to really show them the chickens at the bottom. So there you go. So cute. Cute, cute. These chickens are cute. So almost done with the hand binding, one side left, and hopefully I'll get that done before next week rolls around. Yes. Because we are trying, we're really going to try to do this once a week, but occasionally life happens. Yeah, well, I mean, we do it once a week, but last week we didn't, mom had to go, and anyway, we had some family things going on, so it didn't happen. But anyway, we try to do it once a week. Um, okay, so I have brought you, I'm doing this on our private Facebook group, this Summer Sewing 2024. So I, I forgot to say I had a kid a bit, had a couple of kids in this. Oh, the one that mom showed you, she has, we have a couple of kits for if you're interested. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to really try to focus on finishing some projects this summer and um, summer sewing. So on our Facebook group, I've put made a post and people are listing five things they want to finish over the summer months, which I would consider like June, July, August. So over the next three months, um, and people seem really excited about, you know, being accountable for it. So anyway, we're going to do so prizes. So whole book, different list. <laughs> well, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do it in here. You're going to do it here. Anyway, on but the you Facebook have, you have a target group, list of five things. Yes, on the private Facebook group, in the comments, you can list your five things that you want to. Okay, well, I need to do that. Well, yes, get over there. Why haven't you? <laughs> Where have you been? I didn't know what was on there. I how much attention I get. Yeah, but it's just, you know, kind of. Um, keep you focused. Know, keep you focused over the summer. But anyway, because I mean, the summer for me is really busy with sports and whatever, but the kids don't have school. So anyway. Okay. So my first one, I'm going to finish this over the summer. I'm going to finish Fab Farm. That's my plan. That's your plan. And it did finish up as far as picking it up. As yes. Of the month. So this was a block of the month that we did here in the shop. They were all full. There was no extra spots. Um, and we do have the pattern. So if you wanted it, you could get it and do your own thing. And I'll show you mine. We do have this background fabric available. So if you wanted so, to do. I think it's called a motocross weave maybe. Yeah. 
you wanted to do the background the same as mine, but I, I have more hanging over there. These are just the ones I grabbed. So I'm getting close. I, um, every time I look at this one, I'm like, what did I do wrong with his eye? But see, it'll sew into the seam. <laughs> Exactly. It's one eye's a little bigger. The same size. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, okay, one of his eyes are bigger. What have I done wrong? Um, anyway, I think I'm like, just like down to the bees and the sunflowers, maybe. So I'm pretty work. close. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to finish this. It's so over cute. The summer, which is. And we actually had someone bring it in to be quilted. I've seen Barb quilting one of these. No last way. week. Yes. Yeah. So that thing slipped in here without me seeing it. Was it the same background? I think it was. So maybe it was ours. Wow. Well, yeah, we have to go I, I don't know whose name it was, and maybe she hasn't even picked it up. But I maybe think that'll that was, inspire me. I think that was Monday. Monday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would inspire me, I think. Okay. Trail mix. Okay, so we do, um, Jessica's talking about the five things for the summer. We do sew alongs here, so if you haven't joined our private Facebook group, which I joined, but I'm not reading it, obviously. Yeah, I'm you're not getting on there. <laughs> you do have to, once you join, you do have to kind of go look for it because Facebook doesn't just show it to you. Like, no. There's, like they should. <laughs> so anyway, we just finished up a sew along and it was the trail mix quilt and it went from like April the 15th to May the 15th. Yes, and we did a prize every week. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm behind, so I just posted week four's comments and so I'll pick a winner mm -hmm. out of that. Um, I think Norma Prang won the last one. Yes, she did. Because she's not picked it up. I tied it, Norma, together. Norma, if you're watching. If you're watching. I talked on the phone. I know when she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic. We didn't give it away to somebody else. No, we're not giving it away. Anyway, I'm going to show you my progress. So what I did with mine is just low volume prints, kind of like the picture shows, but I did this really bright pickle Essex linen was the name of the color. Anyway, and I made it bigger. I added another row, so then I was short five inches to do my border. So I just need two more strips, so that's what this thing is lacking, is one border. Isn't that fun? Now, we had a lot of people buy this pickle. We sold out, but we did get it back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got back in so I can get my five inches. Because mm -hmm. this has just a little two and a half inch border on all four sides, and of course, one of my sides does not have mm -hmm. it because I was short. And I'm, you did an extra row. Because I did an extra row. I'm just a, not a fan of a square quilt and it was gonna be 66 by 66. I added another row and I think it makes it, don't seal me on the math, but I wanna think it's 78. <laughs> I measured it once, but I don't remember. Yes, yeah, very nice. So I'm thinking a minky on the back is what I'm really thinking. We've got a lot of neat minky. If you haven't been here in a while, we've got a lot more of the 90 the inch minky yeah. in. That means you don't have to piece it, and I'm all about that. Right. Okay, so since we're talking trail mix, I got my trail mix done, and it was on my summer sewing list, so You're go ahead. me. You're the head game. Go me. Oh, it's yes. so pretty. So I got it done. I did not add an extra row. I was fine with it being square. I'm just going to do something fun on the back, flannel or something. And, oh, that's pretty. It'd be fine, but anyway, it's done. So see how different it looks? This is actually, she used a layer cake, so the pattern calls for a layer cake. And this is just a layer cake I had at mm -hmm. home. And then this striped fabric we had in our clearance room. So pretty. Now I did not have, I don't know what happened, but I didn't have enough to make this two and a half, so I made them two. Half I didn't even think about back. that, but I still would, I would have been short still. Because mm -hmm. if I'd have saved a half inch, still wouldn't have been enough. Yeah. I pieced pieces together and I was still short one side. But I think it's got kind of a farmhouse vibe. Oh, I love vibe. it. It does have, it's cottagey yeah, to like me. Yeah, like a cottage vibe. Could be just be setting out on a porch swing. Oh, on a porch swing. I do mm -hmm. have one of those. And I have one too. And I, it would look good at my house. But I wouldn't <laughs> want it out there all the time. I wouldn't because my cats would be all over it. Yeah. Isn't that fun? It is so pretty. So anyway, got that done. And if you've not ever joined any of our sew alongs, even if you never sew it, just look at the pretty pictures. So many people yeah, posted and, their and colorways. And even ways. to get into the prizes, you don't have to finish it. You just post your progress. That's it. Yeah, the, the your award, progress could be, this is my fabric. The award for winning is that it's your quilt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but you can still be eligible That's for prizes. That's the grand prizes. prize is mm -hmm. you have finished a quilt. Go you. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show is blocks that I cut out and have sewn together for my next Dolphin Island. And I did not bring that pattern over here, but I know a lot of you have made a Dolphin Island quilt. 
This is either my fifth or sixth one. So it is a layer cake with an accent piece. And this is just a little French general um, accent. You cut it one inch and then, for instance, you take your tennis square, part of it's you cut it into six and four, then you put that little accent strip in there and it's only an inch wide. This is a Dolphin Island. Yeah, I didn't bring your hammer over. over. Yeah. We've sold a lot of Dolphin Island. And this is the Fabric Line Old Glory, I believe it's called. That is so pretty. So it makes me think a picnic, 4th of July party. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't this be fun to drink with lemonade out on the porch? Or watch the fireworks. Be a wine cooler. Or wine cooler. Or seltzer. Or margarita. <laughs> <laughs> is it Friday? We all need a drink. <laughs> Look how pretty this one is. And that's what I love about this line is it's very floral. It's patriotic colors, but it's very florally. Yes. I'm not going to make you look at all 42 of these. But we do have the pattern. Look. We do have a layer. And all you do is just sew these together. I mean, it's a really fast quilt. And I've even done a scallop border. I've done just an inner border, outer border. You know, it is your, your quilt. You can do whatever you want. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay, so I am going to finish this over the summer, too. This is... I had made a quilt using Jen Kingwell's greenstone mm -hmm. and I had leftovers, so I cut them all up and into this. So I thought, I'm going to make this. So is the heart going to be green? No, heart's going to be Essex linen. Where yes, I see it. I think. I don't know. It seems like I needed more of something, something. so I'm going to have to count and see. I like it. I, I like may it. do the heart something else because I don't know. I think maybe black. A black heart. <laughs> oh, that's so I don't sad. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, like a black sheet, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so... But you needed all them 10-inch squares for all the half-square triangles to make your... Yes, yes. And then it seems like I was missing something, so I'm going to have to count them and figure that, that out. out. Anyway, I'm going to get that in. Progress. I think it'll be quick, too. It'll be really quick, too. too. So now I'm going to show you some cross-stitch. So this is a patriotic cross-stitch called... Patriotic pinwheel. So there it is. And I don't know if I'll make mine into a pillow or a frame, but I made a lot of progress on it. See how cute he is? Mm -hmm. He's almost done. And I'm stitching this with the uh, called for colors. So some of it's hand dyed, and there's a couple that are just uh, DMC. And so I use those fancy little, whatever you call them, floss rings. Yeah. But I mean, it's only like five colors. And it's stitched on, if you want to know all the details, 36 count winter brew by R&R &R Linen. And I'm stitching one strand over two threads. It's turning out so cute. Mm -hmm. Did you think that I'd be in a frame? Because mm -hmm. I think a pillow you wouldn't really appreciate because it it's just not going to be very big. Yeah, I think frame it. Because here I am, you know, I've got this almost done. I really just have one bunny and the flag to finish. Yeah. He's almost done. Okay. okay. So I forgot my pad. Would you bring it for the next one? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. It's late afternoon. Here. Here. So we're we sleeping just down this morning. But I was going to, I'm going to finish this. Um, this is a little fat quarter pack I oh, bought. Yeah, that you bought me one. And I yeah, but one. I don't know. I must have left the pattern at home. But anyway, it's a little Villa Rosa pattern. It'll be a quick sew. And I'm going to try to get this done over the summer, too. I sure thought I'd seen you put that pattern out here on the table. On the table. Oh, I'm not seeing it. It is a little Villa Rosa pattern, so mm -hmm. it will be fast. Yeah, it'll be a quick sew, but that's it's the Your pattern's called Summer Song. Yeah, Summer Song. And mm -hmm. those are the same fabrics. That yeah, I yeah, I think they're the exact same fabrics. fabrics. Mine's just a different pattern. So anyway. So mine's in the in the row, in the long in the line to be quilted. And we are we got a lot of quilts to quilt, so mine will be way back there. I'm yeah, sure. Claire is here over the summer, so she's getting some of our samples. We are talking about trying to get some of that. Um, buy them bundles with the pattern already in it from free spirit you know i talked about that there goes our light yeah so we're gonna hopefully you can see us all right so the next thing i'm going to show you is another cross stitch called christmas rose i haven't worked a lot on this in the last two weeks but i worked uh two evenings on it everything takes forever 
So there is the Christmas rose pattern. We do have the pattern in the shop. It's stitched on 35 count lamb's wool and I'm using Vicki Clayton silks to, to stitch with. Oh wow, that is dark on there. Maybe it's better back here. Oh, that's much better. But there you go. So I'm down to the Merry Christmas and then it has the two little birds on the side. And then of course the initials and the date. I'm thinking I'm gonna put 2024 because that's when it's, even though it got started in 23. I think it was 23 when I started. I don't know, I'm getting sleepy though. I'm, happy. I'm struggling to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you said. <laughs> I'll just go with it. <laughs> okay, next up is the Charmer pattern. This We have this in the shop. You just use the Charm pack. It's a table runner. And I'm gonna make this with it. And that's all it needs is a table or a charm pack and binding. I think I got that for you for Christmas, didn't I? I think so. So anyway, this is another thing I'm planning to finish over the summer. And then you'll be ready for Christmas. Be all ready for Christmas time. Because I, like I, I have no Christmas runners. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like, I fix you up. I did go I was through. like, whoa, I can I need to fix you up. Well, we do, I think I showed that last video two weeks ago, we do a teacher appreciation week here at the school. And I say we, yes. I don't do it, but we make gift bags for the teachers. And I went through all my table runners and lordy, lordy, I had stacks of them. And I probably give away 12, 15. Yeah, we did little ba did gift bags for mm -hmm. the teachers. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing is so exciting because I sewed back in together. Wait, that's something. We were actually going to load that quilt, but didn't have backing, so. Yeah, because I had it at home. I had to seam it. Look how pretty it's going to look against those. This is a Bella Rosa pattern. That called Journey. Journey. Oh, oh, looky. I have fabric softener in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> She's had that on all day. <laughs> all day long. Did and I, scratch no, it? I did not even know. Well, it's that. soft. That's it's hilarious. Soft. Sorry about that. You all had to see. <laughs> Which at least she's not undressing on video. <laughs> right. So this pattern is called Journey. It is a Villa Rosa pattern. It is a kit we have here. It's kind of lap size and look at the pretty colors. It's got frogs and moons and owls. It's such a cute line. So you anyway, that plant. Yeah, the flannel back will be so wonderful on that. But that was my one of my listed eight items. I sewed one seam together for the backing. Okay, next up, this is gonna be, now this, I may be putting myself over the edge for this, but I would like to finish this dinosaur quilt. I took this home, it's Elizabeth Hartman pattern. I was gonna make the small one, this 48 by 48, which is on the back, so there's, we're making yeah, I think one of each dinosaur, I think. We well, kitted this. Of them. We may still have a kit, I don't know, we sold, I think we sold all of them, but we could kit it again. But this would be my background. So pretty. Mm -hmm. And then here's the dinosaurs. Bright and happy. Yep. But That's I want to make this. I want to get it done. And I'm just going to make the small one so it won't be, it'll go to a special loved one at some point in time. Yes, some point in time. And you know how we're always telling you people out there to make baby quilts and have them ready. So okay. I've gotten invited to two baby showers in the last three weeks. And and I, didn't, I didn't have to hurry and make a baby quilt. I was able to go through baby quilts that I have and they're going to end up being just right. Yeah. yeah. Just right for the little babies. Yes. Already done. No, no stress. Right. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is, that's the item I left at home. So, oh, this binding or quilt. This is the Nightingale quilt. So it has been quilted and I took it home to get binding on it. This is a big one too. Look how pretty the quilting is on this. I think it's just called, what's it called? The pattern. Nightingale. Hexadiamond. Oh, the quilting pattern, Geodiamond. Geodiamond. The pattern for the quilt is called Nightingale. I was not paying attention again. Again, she's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> she's asleep with her eyes open. So it is a really neat quilt. And we do have this kit in the shop. Yes, we do. And we also have the pattern nightingale. Mm -hmm. But look at the pretty flannel I put on the back. Well, just so you know, 
this is the binding in your kit, and I just could not do plaid and stripe together. I probably would have, honestly, but mom didn't. No, so I came in today, and this is gonna be my binding. I think it looks really pretty against the plaid. And of course, it's in the quilt, so it'd be pretty mm -hmm. out there too. I think it's fun. It's a fun quilt, and it is one that I can't see myself giving away, because this is the nightingale, represents being a nurse, and I'm a retired nurse. They always say once a nurse, always a nurse. Mm -hmm. I just really like it. And it's a fun pattern. I could easily make this again in different colors. Went together pretty darn fast. Okay, so I am also going to finish this. So let's see how much I get done in two months. Um, I This is a block of the month that we did several years ago and I never got it done. So I'm gonna get it finished and I'll show you some of the blocks I have so far. And once I get the blocks done, you know, you have all that stuff that goes in the sash. such pretty so. setting. But the pretty setting is work. It's not gonna be, yeah. Not gonna fly I mean, together. the blocks really went together pretty easy. They're not all that time consuming. We do still have this book in there, but look at the setting. The setting just makes it. Yeah, we have the book and we actually have some of this fabric. I don't know that you would get all the colors. Well, definitely not the background. I know we don't have that background yeah, anymore. But some of the prints. Yes, yeah, some of the prints we still have. That's pretty. All right, so anyway, that's another summer goal. So look how Christmassy you'd be. You'd have a Christmas runner. I'd be, I mean, I'd be Christmas so ready. huge quilt. Yeah, Christmas could happen. Christmas could happen at your house. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is... Oh, this is what you brought home. This Clara, and I, you took some stuff Clara home. and I, Jessica's daughter, my granddaughter, worked together last Saturday. And we're, I can see we're kind of dangerous when we are not yeah. busy. So she put together a quilt that we kitted, and she's going to make, and I put together one of my own. <laughs> so this is Hops, Hopscotch 2. Two. And I don't even really care for the front. If you look at the back, you can kind of see yeah, more what the pattern like is. is. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Oh, but wait till you see the fabric. So this is the background. So that's everywhere you see the navy will be this grunge. The prints are all Heather Bailey's new line. So and, I mean, and I say it's got uh, peacocks and it's got this, you know, kind of a peacock feather looking. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. This is the actual peacock. Yeah, so pretty. some of those blocks, like the center of them, are going to be, I think they're five and a half by four and a half. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna look at this big florally one. I just love all the colors. And then, Clara helped me, you can see by that pattern, there's a little gray accent on the one on the back. Oh, yeah, that's that little gray accent. So this is what she thought I should use. Ooh, something bright. Something bright. Mm -hmm. Your colors are all bright, and then my background's, you know, white, yeah, pine like colored. So, anyway, I went with Clara's gut because she does no color. She does no color. Yeah, so true. But I'm not letting myself start on this until I got. And right now, I currently have three quilts that need binding. Yeah, I did get binding. So I like on. to get it sewn on the quilt, and then you know, if we're on a car drive, car ride, I'm not driving. <laughs> I'm riding. Then I can set up you there can, and hand. She can drive. <laughs> I can drive. Not that I'm going to hand stitch my binding on. But I love to hand stitch my binding when we're going somewhere. And if it's already <laughs> sewn on the quilt, then it's just ready to go. Okay, so my last, was that your last item? That would be my last item. Okay, my last item is this pattern. So we do these fat quarter packs here in the shop. 16. Yeah, this, this is a new Villa Rosa for our store. So 16 fat quarters in a pack. We sell them like crazy. We cut them all the time. And I've made several things with them, obviously, because I can't help myself. I thought, okay, over the summer, I'm going to try to squeeze in a few of those because they're typically really fast, fast. If you get a, I mean, you don't have to do a Villa Rosa pattern with them, but they're pretty fast. So anyway, I took the Tilda fat quarter pack home mm -hmm. and I got it all cut. Did you have quite a bit left? Well, okay. So it calls, it calls for, for a layer cake or fat six, six or which is 12 by 21, mm -hmm. 22 of them. And our fat quarter packs is 16. So, so that would be, I really did cheap. not have a whole bunch left over. I just am not having all the color, you know, that a layer cake, that a layer cake would necessarily have. But I mean, theirs isn't Oh, you're showing the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the back. 
<laughs> and the front, and the back, the front. I haven't seen this Villa Rosa, so I'm really studying it. <laughs> so anyway, I did have to make some adjustment. Well, I see you wrote on it. Well, I had to do some math. So she we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Norma, she needs help. She may have a lot more of the needs. popular today. We talked about her twice already. <laughs> um, anyway, we, um, anyway, so I think I've got it figured out. And I really did not have a whole lot left over. With after. your 16 pack. Yes. I'm just not going to maybe have as much color as, you know, I would. But anyway, it's going to be lovely. I love Tilda too. And I'm, I'm not excited. sewn with it yet. It's so pretty. So, I mean, now it took me you know, a couple hours to cut it out. It'll take me a few hours to sew it together because mm -hmm. they're fast. So mm -hmm. it's like, I can squeeze in a couple of those too. Yes. And they're nice. I like giving those away, like for the teacher gifts. Cause you know, like some, like the Elizabeth Hartman pack quilts. I'm like, I have so much time, time. in that. Like that row by row that I showed you was yes. like sunny yeah, You kisses. don't want to just give that to, I mean, we love the teachers, teachers. but it's not <laughs> it's like. Typically it's a family or it's a wedding yes, or something it's like, like that. Someone really, you know, close to you. You so. know what we're talking about, quilters. Yes, <laughs> you know what we're talking about. Don't, don't judge. Don't judge. But anyway, the, yeah, the Villa Rosa ones that, that are fast, they're just, they're just nice to have around to give, you know, mm -hmm. when you want to give something. Mm -hmm. And there's times that I'm like, I just, some person, I'm like, I just really like this person. I want to give them a quilt. Here you go. This yeah, don't even have, have to be an occasion. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, there was a couple that, for instance, that I, that got married. And I mean, it's not like I know one that well, and I wasn't invited to the wedding or anything. But I'm giving them a quilt anyway. That's right. Because, you know, we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, that's it before we ramble and say more than we should. <laughs> so have a really awesome Some weekend. Good. It's the holiday. So hopefully you can hang out with family and sew. Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe. All right, bye.